Here we go. Boys and girls. Okay. I know it's exciting. Okay, so uh, the first one is we're just going to head straight across the river. Here's our river. It is 120 meters across. Right? Um, the boat can go 3.5 meters per second. Okay? The current is 1.2 meters per second. And then the beautiful thing is that this can be solved entirely by doing across the river and downstream. Okay, so downstream will be just downstream. And I believe that all rivers should flow down the map. Okay? The Willamette is a notable exception to this, right? But I think all God fearing rivers should flow down there. And then across will be just the direction the boat's traveling, like that. And then here's the cool thing X, V, and T. All we have is X, V, and T. We have, so there's no acceleration. This is so much easier than projectile motion. No initial final velocity, no acceleration. Yeah. So what do we know? Across velocity, 3.5 is the across velocity, yeah. Because it's pointed straight across, all of that is across. Downward is 1.2? 1.2 is our downward, downstream velocity. And then 120, there we go. Okay. Okay, now, does the river's current affect the time it takes to cross in this case? Does X affect Y? That's a very important principle, yes, in, in uh, motion. And, and, the, and the truth is that it doesn't. Okay? Try this sometime. Go to the airport and stand on one of those conveyor belts. And instead of walking along it, walk across it. You will probably get arrested. Okay? Just walk across the belt. Somebody will like, run right into you, right? Okay? But, but the, the fact that it's moving to the side will not affect the time it takes you to cross it, correct? Okay, so, so we can figure out the time. So take your calculator and calculate what the time is. It's going to be this divided by this is this. Thirty four point two nine seconds. Huh? Oh, uh, 34.3. Yeah, I guess we, we could carry one. I'm carrying two extra. I'm funny that way. And then, what do you suppose we can do with time? Yeah, time goes across. 34.29. There we go. And then, gee, what formula are we going to use here? Yeah, there we go. Just this times this is this. All right, so 1.2 times 41.48. Four, 1.48. Meters, so I guess 41.1 uh, meters or so. Okay. So it's going to go, in the time it takes to cross this thing, it's going to go downstream. If this is 120, it's going to go about a third of that distance, 41.148 meters downstream. Yeah? And then it says, one of the questions up here, it says uh, time to cross, we figured that out. Where it lands, we figured that out. Then it says velocity is seen from above. So as it, as it crosses the river, what will we see it do? 3.5, it's going to be going at an angle, right? It's going to go like this, okay? And it's going to be going 3.5 across and 1.2 down, right? So if it says, what's the speed with respect to the shore? That's this guy here. How would we find that speed? Pythagorean, right? 3.5 squared plus 1.2 squared. 3.5 squared plus 1.2 squared. 3.7 exactly. How did it be? How could it be exact? Because it's a 1.2, 3.5, 3.7 right triangle. Yeah, you know about those, right? How is that possible? Ah! Okay. Are we good on that one? Yes, sir. Oh, time was uh, distance divided by velocity, right? So that was 120 divided by 3.5. Yeah? So the only formula we ever use is just velocity is x over t. We usually got to find like the time 
That is the distance yeah. downstream it went. So we did this times this to get this. Yeah, does that make sense? Gotcha. Are we usually going to find time on the left side and then transfer it over? Depends. Maybe they'll tell you how far downstream it goes, and then you'd have to find, you know. Yeah. Are we good on this one example? So this is the simplest thing. Okay. Now we're going to do the hardest thing to solve. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Okay. So the next question is, is the arbitrary angle. Okay. I'm going to zoom out so that people on YouTube can see. There's the, there's the picture right there. I'm going to zoom in closer. Okay. <laughs> there we have it, right? Okay. So this is pointed at some arbitrary angle. Arbitrary. How do you spell arbitrary? I'm just going to write some angle. Okay. This is not the angle. This uh, the 32 degrees is not the angle that makes it go straight across. Okay. It's actually just some random angle that I picked. And so uh, here's our river. And our boat is now pointed. <laughs> It's now pointed 32 degrees upstream. It still goes 3.5 meters per second. The current is still 1.2 meters per second. The river is still 120 meters wide. Yeah? So what do we do? Gentlemen, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, didn't I promise you that any time you saw a vector like this, that you would have to break it into components? Okay, so let's do that, because that'll help us. Okay, so this side here, I'm going to go 3.5 times cos 32. And this side here is 2.968. This side here is 3.5 sine... 32, that's 1.8855, is what I'll write. All right, now, so we, we did this, this is 3.5, cos 32 is this guy, cos gives you x, and sine gives us y, so 3.5 sine 32 gives us that, right? And then we're going to do the same thing, right? We're going to go across and downstream and x and v and t and x and v and t. And who knows where anything goes? Yeah, across distance is 120, definitely. Yeah, Matthew. Never mind. <laughs> 1 1.2 is one of them, right? So we got 1.2 downstream, right? And this, okay, this is our cross, definitely our cross. And it's the only thing that's a cross. Yeah? So 2.968. Right? Is this the only downstream velocity? There's also this guy here, right? So we got 1 point plus 1.8. 5, 5, upstream, downstream, we got upstream and downstream, right, going on there. What do we have to do with that? We've got 1.2 downstream, 1.855 upstream. Subtract, now we need to subtract, are we going to end up going upstream, do you see that? Yeah, the net effect is 1.2 downstream, so this, this person overcompensated, they steered too much into the current, and they're actually going to end up going upstream. They're not going to go straight across, so basically, this is point. 655 upstream. US is upstream. Could also be United States. Could also be ungulate salvation. So, you know, there we have it. United Salvadorians could be that too. Okay. Now what do we do? We do the same thing we did before. We've done all the tricky vector stuff. What do we do with this and this? Do we just divide to get the time? Yeah, so this divided by this will give us time. So take your calculator. Divide 120 by 2.968, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 40.43, 